Hello and welcome to another edition of the Gravestone Pros here at North Country Memorials. We are so glad that you guys have joined us and are coming along. Today we are going to get into a project that Dad actually started a few months ago, had to put on hold, and then got back into it. And as you'll see at the end, uh, had to put on hold again. So there will be more to come on this project later on, but uh, let's get into it. rookie YouTubers in the middle of a project say, oh, this would be content. We should film it. Uh, so it's been, and Eric did mention it yesterday about filming it, and I was in the middle of focusing. Anyway, so uh, some of what we're doing you've already seen us do, uh, so I'm going to come at this from a whole nother angle, and that is our roller system and what it can handle. Um, yeah, I don't know what it's rated for. I know it's not likely rated for what we do. Um, and for whatever reason, it's just how that kind of stuff goes. Anyway, it's what we could afford at the time. Uh, and it's what we can still afford. Uh, these rollers are definitely not made, obviously, for monuments. These were bought in a, a warehouse lot uh, where they just have this stuff and they're just trying to move as much of it as they can. And so uh, I did my own calculations. I won't even go into what that what little that entails. <clears throat> Sorry, James, and all you all you uh, precise techies that we desperately need. Um, my brain just doesn't work that way. Uh, even when I try, I don't do well at it. Uh, anyway, so uh, a typical monument for us is in the neighborhood of 500 to 900 pounds. And 900 pounds is, is pretty hefty. And uh, so we're working on one right now that that uh, that uh, we've we've had to do a bunch of stuff with, and I'm going to show it to you. Now, I should have a regular size beside it uh, to help, you know, explain it. This is black. Black tends to be heavier. This is eight inches thick. We do mostly six inches thick stuff. The height on this is about 30 inches. We typically do 20 inches high. So down to here, only this thick. And this is uh, 46 inches long. No, 48 inches, a little over 48 inches long. And we typically do two and a half foot to three foot long. So anyway, uh, we just brought it and put it, we've got to put it in and we've got to do some extra work to it. We've got to put it in the sandblast booth. Our rollers uh, have spans of about four and a half to five foot where the legs are, except down there. We got it out to there and probably was fine, but I didn't quite trust it. So we kept the straps on until we got over top of one of the legs. So. I'm not young and strong, but I can do things, and I can't hardly hold this thing. I can't hardly hold this thing. Not without old Bruce McGregor, McGregor there to help me out. So, anyway, that's what we're doing right now. All right, hang on, Eric. Hey guys, I just wanted to jump in here and say, if you're enjoying the videos and enjoying our channel, please, do subscribe, leave us a like on the video, leave us a comment, tell us your thoughts. We really appreciate that. And that is the best way to support our channel. <laughs> what a freaking big stone. <coughs> Careful with your head there. <coughs> I don't know if you can see, but our our uh, baffle is our baffle, which helps keep sand out of the dust collector, has uh, 
It's been it's been uh, it's been attacking Eric from time to time, trying to uh, yeah ruin his life a little bit. All right, more in the saga of the big stone and <coughs> recessing this panel. We're learning. We're uh, we're getting there. Uh, so when we got done, when we got done with this, um, and we had to put it on hold because we had a bunch of stuff that was promised for the fall. Um, anyway, so when we got done with it, and uh, when I took the rubber off, I got all these little chips along the edges, and uh, what we realized was is that we had, um, when we were using the grinder, we were bumping up against, and, uh, and it was chipping them. Uh, we had rubber holding them in place, so we didn't know it, we didn't see it. So, we're always learning. Again, always learning. And uh, that's what I do. So, what I'm doing now is I am, uh, I've got to take this edge down. So, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to fill this in with rubber and cutting the line around uh, not on this side, the right side is good, uh, left side needs help. Um, and I'm going to sandblast that line down to this edge here. Uh, I've actually measured the depth with a pencil and I've calculated for the width of the rubber and I'm going to sandblast all the way along um, which is the depth not that it really matters to you but it is a Just shy of a quarter inch is our depth. All right. Rather than bore you with all the fine details of trying to get stencil ready, um, I'm there. I'm ready, I believe. Um, so. The plan now is get this inside the sandblast booth, get this line, this line, and this line uh, down close to the correct depth. Uh, then I will have to do some tooling to make the panel even, make sure it's where I want it to be. Then sandblast, make a textured background, and then we can sink the, uh, the letters in. So. The uh, continuing saga of the big stone uh, that I've been working on here, um, where we ran into a snafu. Part of our problem, which we knew, is our rollers are not designed for that amount of weight. And I got everything prepared, uh, ready to move it into the booth and uh, blast those lines that I told you about. And we came that close to the rollers buckling at one point. Christian and I were working on it, and that could have went a whole lot of ways and would not have ended well. Uh, good chance one of us getting seriously injured. Um, anyway, uh, we, our plan is to finish it next spring because we have to work on it outdoors. The weather is just consistently not good. Uh, even if it is a decent day, it's cold out. And so our plan is uh, we're going to finish it next spring when we can go and work outdoors. 
But we're also going to order a backup stone so that we've got it here. And if things go really south with this and we just can't do it, we'll start over on a new stone. We'll figure out a way to, to reuse this stone. And, uh, but that brings you up to date. Um, we'll, we'll obviously video in the spring and uh, show you what's happening once that's done and gets, gets uh, actually set. So the story continues. Uh, the other thing is we are, uh, we've got, what did we measure? 40 feet. 40 feet uh, we, if we're gonna try and replace these uh, rollers. It's very expensive. The rollers that we got now when we look, look back and realize it wasn't that much money Seemed like a lot at the time, but uh, it's it's uh, not sure what the price is going to be, but but uh, could be could be over 10 grand, uh, could be close to 20 grand. We're not sure. Uh, depending on if we can find used ones or if we can if we have to have new ones manufactured. But we need 40 feet because we can come in from that end of the building, uh, place a stone on, roll it in, work on it get it into the sandblast booth and back out. So that is the plan to uh, do some research here over the next, whatever, few weeks, month, and uh, see what we can do as far as getting uh, our, that, that half basically, it's about half of our rollers that we have in the system. Get them replaced and uh, uh, it'll just keep everybody safe and the stones uh, not compromised, so. Thank you so much for coming. I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as we enjoyed making it. We will see you all next time.